how to supercharge your Facebook pixel so that you get 10 times all of the sales. Hey, what's going on guys? Shri Kanase here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a little trick that I learned just a few weeks ago, which has been really beneficial in my e-commerce career. And as I mentioned, I learned this a few weeks ago. I had literally no idea about this. And I think that this is one of the newer settings that Facebook recently uploaded to Facebook ads. But nonetheless, it's an amazing tactic that you can use in order to boost your sales by up to 10 times. And I don't hesitate to say that this did boost my own sales by 10 times and basically revived my Facebook pixel to do even better than before. But before continuing on with this video, if you're new to this channel, like always, make sure to hit that little subscribe button down below. There's a lot of little secret tips and tricks that I mention in a lot of my videos on Shopify. So subscribing just lets you stay connected to them and let's just jump right into it. So here is one of my Facebook pixels for one of my other Shopify stores. And in order to get here, all you have to do is click on the little three lines on the top left and once you click on that, just click on all tools. Mine is pixels over here, but for you, it's going to be under the measure and report area. So below events manager, just click on pixels and you'll come right to this page. What you want to do from this page is just go ahead and click on your pixel on the left over here. So you want to be clicking on the little blue text over here, which should say your store's name and pixel after it. So just click on that. And once it loads up, this is exactly what you're going to be seeing. This is one of my newer Shopify stores. I just started this, but the main thing we want to be focusing on is this section over here. We have three options over here, events, settings, and diagnostics. We want to go ahead and click on settings. And once you click on that, this page will load up. We want to scroll down and our main focus is on this section over here. It says details and it's under the business manager settings. Just scroll down and we want to come over here to what says automatic advanced matching. So this is one of the newer tactics that I found. Basically what this function does, what this setting does is that it uses the customer provided data from the website to find more conversions, improve optimization and remarket to more people. I'm reading right off what it says over here given by Facebook, but to find out more, you can click on learn more and it should open up this section over here which tells you a lot more about this but in simple words what this is doing is basically using the data we have already given our pixel by running ads and having people come onto our store to basically use that data to even find more people with similar interests and th all of this is done automatically so what it says over here is that the advanced matching basically captures the hashed customer data such as email addresses country location etc that we collect on our website during the processes like checkout, sign in, registration, and then uses that hashed data to better match people visiting the website with more people on Facebook. And what I have personally noticed is that doing this leads to more conversions because Facebook basically starts showing your ad to more similar people to those who have already purchased from you. And this also increases the size of your lookalike audience. So for the 1% lookalike audience, for me, it changed the size from 1.2 million to actually 2 million. So that's 800,000 more individuals that now are going to be targeted through my ads. So this is a really beneficial setting that I have been using and I have seen a lot of good results. But what you want to be basically doing is just click on this off button right here so that it turns on and to even go more advanced you can just click on the see all configured parameters over here and see what kind of hash data facebook uses to match other people right now i'm letting facebook basically match data through emails phone number first and last name city state and zip code and gender what you want to do when you're starting out is basically leave all of these checked and just let facebook do the rest of the job but once again this has been one of the newer things Facebook has introduced to Facebook ads and it has actually been really beneficial. So definitely give this a try and let me know down in the comment section if this does end up helping you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found value in this video and I'll see you guys next time.